So I know, meditation is hard. It is. Uh, we think we don't have the time for it. And then when we do make the time, it's hard to just sit and focus the mind. I mean, if we were to speak out loud what was going on in our mind at any given moment in time, we could see so clearly that the mind is in such a state of chaos and disarray. But this isn't a reason not to meditate. This is the reason to meditate. So let me give you a couple of tips here that might make things simpler. The biggest mistake that most people make in relation to practicing meditation is that they think meditation is about learning how to empty the mind or not have thoughts or not think about stuff. But if you think about it, to try and not have thoughts and not think about stuff much more closely resembles repression and suppression than it does meditation. So what we actually learn how to do in meditation isn't to try and stop having the thoughts or empty the mind completely. We actually develop the skill or the ability to let things go in the mind while we're practicing, which has a very different charge to it than trying to stop the thoughts initially. I mean, if you've ever woken up at two, three, four o'clock in the morning and you can't go back to sleep because you're thinking about stuff, that's what we try to do at two, three, four o'clock in the morning is we try and stop having those thoughts. We try and stop the mind. But if you've noticed, this never brings you into a state of greater rest and relaxation because to try and not be doing that which you're already in the process of doing, which in this case is you're trying to stop thinking while you're already in the process of thinking, this is the very definition of frustration. So sometimes when I use the term letting go, you see some people kind of settle back into their chairs and it's like, we've all had somebody say to us at some point, oh, you should just let it go, right? And we're like, yeah, that, that's a great tip. I would love to be able to let something go, especially at 3.23 in the morning, but how do you actually do that in the mind? And this is really the number one obstacle that most people face in their meditation. They think that they actually have to focus on the letting go piece of things in their practice. But actually, the letting go part happens automatically when we practice this movement of mind into the present. Because the mind can't actually be in two places at once. Uh, it sure feels like it can, right? If you've ever had one of those busy kind of scattered mind kinds of days, it can feel like the mind is just all over the place. But if these fingers were thoughts, the thoughts aren't actually happening with simultaneity. What's happening is you're having one thought, then another, then another, and sometimes they're happening so quickly that the experience is, is that the mind is all over the place. But actually the mind cannot hold two primary objects of attention or awareness at exactly the same time. That's just a slightly fancier way of saying that the mind can't actually be in two places at once. So the gift of understanding this is that each time you practice this movement of mind into that present moment experience of say the breath or the feeling of the body sitting in the chair or if you're doing an eating meditation, the taste of the grape, or in a walking meditation, the experience of walking, each time you practice that movement of mind into that present moment experience of whatever it is that you're focusing on, because the mind can't be in two places at once, the mind can't actually be both fully present feeling the breath and often thought at exactly the same time. So each time you practice this movement of mind back to into say the feeling of the breath, you are actually letting go of whatever it is you were just thinking about because the mind can't be in two places at once. So my strong encouragement is to not focus so much on the letting go part of things, but just simply continue to focus on this gentle practice, this gentle movement of mind uh, from thought into experience. And say in a breathing meditation, it would be the experience of the breath, the feeling or the sensations in the body as you breathe. And each time you move your mind into that feeling of the breath, you are letting go of thoughts. Now, they come right back 
And this is where many people get confused and even discouraged with their practice. But my strong encouragement is don't get discouraged here because it's the very thoughts that are coming into the mind that we get an opportunity to practice letting go with. You can't develop the skill of letting go in the mind unless the thoughts are coming in for you to practice letting go of through this movement of mind into the present. I hope so much that made things a little bit clearer and thus a little bit simpler. You should know that meditation is uh, simple, though not necessarily easy. But all it takes is some practice. Hope so much this brought you benefit, and I'll see you next time.